there's uh, you know picture eco-friendly packaging I like that handling and storage mm. tells you to refrigerate per perishable items I'm glad that it's idiot proof that's reassuring okay then This is what it looks like inside the box. Last week it had a from the farm for um, something else that's green. So we got lemongrass chicken burgers, brown butter cod, and their Tinkerbell pepper quesadillas. I mean, don't you get that mixed up with anything else that could be their Tinkerbells. Oh, well, now I'm, I'm, I'm having difficulties, so. Fail. Oh, well, okay. Every week, it's a magical thing inside. Come on now, blue thing. It's just frustrating when this all happens. Ah. Ew, what's inside there? It's like the insulation. All right, so you can see that is what the inside of the prettily packaged box is. These must be the cabbages. <laughs> oh, good thing they're labeled because those are multicolored Tinker Bell peppers. Oh. This is Blue Apron. So, um, as you saw, there's um, everything's nicely labeled in a plastic bag that you cannot recycle, so it lies. So, those are some peppers, and um, what is the difference? There's not a difference, they just put them in separate bags. Cilantro. This one recyclable? This one recyclable? Yes, I think it is. Or if you actually grow your own cilantro, you could put some in that package. There's more cilantro. It's weird. All right, and there's two buns, but they look like dope buns. Potato buns, and then it tells you what's in them. But I kind of feel like Steve Martin in The Father of the Bride, where it's like, I just want two buns. I don't want eight buns, but it's very clear they just kept these two from a package and then ripped them off here from the rest of the package. They, they pulled a Steve Martin. So, and here we got oregano. I always get oregano and cilantro mixed up every single time. Every single time. Corn! Um, this is garlic. Here's a lime. Good thing I know the names, because those aren't labeled. No, 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 they're not. Um, this is a shallot. I always know that because um, I, I, I did this because uh, half the time I buy all this food for these recipes that we get, and then uh, all of them rot. The rest of the ingredients from the recipe just rot in the fridge. And a lot of the time, I have no idea what any of these things are. Like, I went to um, the fish mar market. There's no, it's Montana. There's no such thing as a fish market. I went to the fish counter at the grocery store the other day and I said, because one of the recipes I got was like called for bass. Bass, it's bass. That's the fish version. Bass is the, but bass is the actual fish. Um, and I said, 
do you do you guys have bass i mean i don't even like it's it's the worst when you sound stupid but you don't even realize that you sound stupid because you're so stupid when it comes to something um and the kid looked at me and was like oh uh no that's something you would get you know that that's an atlantic fish and i'm like okay so the east coast would probably be a more appropriate place to purchase bass and he was like hey, yeah i'm like sorry i'm not a freshwater fish or sea fish genius at that like i don't know my fish i know that there is um there's rainbow trout that is basically it i know you can freaking catch rainbow trout that's it i don't know i don't know anything about that so, um, yeah, it felt dumb, but, um, apparently you can't get bass. He was like, we're more of a West Coast carrier of fish. I'm like, so Pacific Ocean then. Because I know, I definitely, oh, yeah, there's that part of my brain where I remember every kind of fish that is in the Pacific Ocean. And then I'll remember that I can only get those kinds of fish here. I don't know. I don't know where anything lives in the ocean. What is, what is an Atlantic fish and what's a Pacific fish or what's a freshwater fish? I'm an accountant. Like, I, why don't you be nicer about it to me? Maybe I'll get bass in one of these at some point. These are the brown butter cod knickknacks. They're wet, but it doesn't smell, so that's nice. Um... <laughs> There, it looks like there's another shallot in here. And I only know, the whole point of that conversation that I just had with this camera was that um, a shallot, <laughs> I had no idea what a shallot was until I was looking at ingredients for a recipe and I was like, you know, and you're like, what is, you have no idea how much you know little about food until you actually try to cook. And you're like, a, a leek? What is a leek? Is that a thing that you can buy? Is that a, and you, I, literally, I remember looking at the recipe and being like, I don't even know if that is like something that you buy in the canned section or if it's a type of meat. Or, so what did I do? I Googled it. I Googled it. And I remember I uh, was looking at a recipe that called for a shallot and I was like, what is a, sh what is a shallot? A shallot? What is that? What is that? So I googled it and it was like, it's like an onion, but not an onion. And then I, of course, when I go to the store to buy the leeks or the shallots or whatever the, the recipe is calling for, I'm that person that's like, try to like, like, like coolly look at the tags on all of the vegetables where I'm like, like pretending like I'm like checking the firmness and I'm like, Onion. Um, oh, this feels, that feels fresh. Oh, dang, cilantro. Like, I'm <laughs> just like, don't know. I don't know anything about anything, so. Wow, it's really um, quite moist in this box. It wasn't quite as moist last week. Fail. This is a tomato. I know that one. Um, it doesn't smell like anything's rotting, so that's a, that's a plus. Chicken burger knickknacks. Keep refrigerated. Something does smell funky somewhere, though. <laughs> and I don't know if it's outside. Or maybe it's my floor. Who knows? See, Yukon gold potatoes. Like, what? Like, why, we, why can't we just call them hot potatoes? Like there's red potatoes, there's ruby red potatoes, I think. Um, Yukon gold potatoes, there's mini, there's baby uh, Idaho. I'm like, I'm like, what is the difference? Like, why can't we just call them all a potato? Because then I'm breaking my back trying to find bass and leeks and shallots and things that actually Montana doesn't even carry because we don't, like, we can't do it. I thought maybe this is what it smelled. That's what I smelled. 
Uh, these are flour tortillas, and it also tells you to keep these refrigerated, which I probably wouldn't have done because I'm in, I see cherry tomatoes. What's the difference? What's the difference between a cherry tomato and, and just regular tomato? Hmm. Nothing. There's nothing. There's no difference. They taste more, taste more like cherries. Point again. Purple potatoes. Literally, I have never heard of a purple potato. So I'm really happy I didn't get this recipe off the website and aimlessly wander and stay away going, Do you have purple potatoes? Do you have those? You need purple ones. It's not, not, or, no, we, I can't have you pound gold. Can't have it. Yukon gold. Like when I think of a Yukon, I think of a car. And I don't think of it being a gold standard car either. What's this? Oh, are these eggs? No way. Let's see if they're whole. These shipped from, like, Colorado, I think, is what this meal came from. It's pretty amazing. I would have never thought that you could, like, get eggs in the, in the mail like that. This is real fancy times and days and ages we live in here. Holy God, that's a lot of cheese. non ray jack cheese. BF contains milk. It's Mexican cream. What is Mexican cream? Spicier cream. And one. See, I'm like, uh. <laughs> this is my idiocracy coming out. Um, I think this is a chive. Please ding, 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 if that's the correct. But at first, when I picked it up, I thought it was a celery stick. I was like, oh, look at that, a celery stick. Okay, so we come down to now the next piece. The next, it's actually like it's a layered little box. So this was a great recipe. It's because of incredible ingredients. I don't care. Um, now we move on to the meat. This is a nice little Nordic ice pack. Um, so we've got meat this is chicken dark ground chicken i didn't even know chicken i didn't know you could grind chicken um and this is fish look it's from the pacific ocean now i know that cod is in the pacific ocean super duper um so let's take a closer look at these shall we um, looks like this guy. I don't think this is what smells. Sorry, I kept thinking I was smelling something, but I guess it was probably because I was like, hmm, something was in the mail for three days and the gorging heat, so maybe something could be bad. Looks like this is, um, oh, look, it's giving me a background of Wild Pacific Cod. I guess it knew I wasn't very intelligent when it came to fish. It says that some of them are like from other places. Yada, yada, yada. Um, I don't know where Monterey Bay Aqua Aquarium. That looks like it's somewhere in Washington or Alaska, perhaps. This guy looks like it's from Crown Chicken. That just sounds disgusting, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, well, we're having ground chicken for dinner. Actually, we need to do anything else in the world but that. Um, I can't see where it's from. Oh, Richmond, California. California. But there's no organic stamp on it. So for all I know, they just mix ground turkey and ground chicken. Said it was good so anyways <laughs> those are all the ingredients that come in the blue apron box 
I don't know why it was so wet in there. Um, but basically then all you do is uh, pack everything up in the fridge. Uh, so we've got all that stuff and then this was the stuff that came in there on my really clean floor. Whatever. It like, like instructs you to wash everything before you cook it. Which, I don't know, I guess is common, not common sense anymore to some people. Um, and then to show you the knickknacks. In the baggie, they give you butter. There's another shallot in there, like I said. I don't know that it's a shallot. It's a Google. And this is sherry vinegar. Sherry. Uh, so that is.